Hello and welcome to another Adobe Lightroom color grading tutorial. In this video, I do want to work on yet another golden hour landscape image, which means we are going from this image to this one. So we're going to introduce a lot more orange tones, make everything a lot warmer except for the shadows. So without much more talking, let's begin. As always, you can find the raw file in the description of the video to follow along the tutorial. And now let's begin with the basic stuff. First off, I'd like to change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Neutral, which will give us a very flat image with low contrast. And that just means we do have more control over it ourselves. For the white balance, as I said, I want this image to be more like a golden hour shot. So we want to immediately bring up the temperature, introducing some more warmth to this shot. Let's raise it quite a bit, actually. All right, that looks good. Overall, the image is rather bright, but the histogram looks good so far. Still, I want to introduce some more darkness to the shot, so I'm going to start by dropping the exposure and then paying close attention to the histogram, of course, to not underexpose too much here. So that's looking like a good spot. At the same time, I do want to bring down the shadows for further contrast. Now, again, once we take a look at this program, you can see we pushed it towards the darker side. I do also want to spread it more towards the highlights. In this case, I can bring up the whites. And I can also safely introduce some more highlights without overexposing. And this way we are adding some very nice contrast to this shot. Finally, I do want to raise the blacks just a little bit. All right. So at this point, I also want to introduce some texture, giving us a sharp image and some clarity to make this whole image pop a little more. Finally, let's introduce some vibrance. Perfect. So here we have the image after the base adjustments. You can see it's a lot warmer and overall just a bit darker, which is really nice for the top part with the light hitting the fog. So next up, I do want to work on the local adjustments with the masking. Let's start with a linear gradient for the top portion, just like that. In here, I do want to further raise the clarity. I also want to bring up the contrast. Let's raise it quite a bit here. And we could even introduce some more saturation. Perfect. Then I also want to enchant the foreground some more, especially those flowers. And therefore I'm using a color range mask. With the color range mask active, I'm going to select one of those bright yellow spots. We could refine the range some more, so more of this color is affected. That looks pretty good. So with that selection, let's raise the exposure, introducing some highlights to this image. That's looking good. I do think I want to add a little bit of clarity as well. Just like that. Perfect. Finally, I do want to work on that mountain in the center. Here I'm going to use the simple brush tool, but just make sure the auto mask option is selected. And then I'm just brushing over this mountain very, very roughly. All right, that should do the job. In here, I do want to bring up the highlights. Every subtle change, but I think it looks better this way. And again, I'm going to introduce some clarity. Just like that to make the mountain pop. All right, that's it for the local adjustments. So after all, we do have some more contrast. But at this point, you can see the colors do look a little bit weird. So for the next step, let's work on the color grading. I am starting in the HSL panel with the hue. And overall, I do want to reduce the yellow tones and make them just look a little more orange. That means I'm going to use the yellow hue slider and bring it down a notch. Just like that. At the same time, I'm heading into the saturation panel. Here, I'm going to raise the yellow saturation. All right. And I also want to introduce some of blue tones here. Finally, I'm heading into the luminance tab. And of course, for this shot, it's all about the yellow tones. So again, I'm using the yellow slider. 
and I just bring up the luminance, making all yellow tones just a little bit brighter. Perfect. Of course, one of the biggest changes for the colors comes with the split toning in the color grading panel. For those golden hour shots, I mostly use the highlights and the midtones to apply some warmer color tones, so let's do that. First, the highlights, I'm going to pick a warm color tone somewhere around here and then just bring up the saturation. I want it to be quite high so we get a visible effect on it. For the midtones, again, let's pick a similar color tone somewhere in this range and bring up the saturation. I'm not going as high as with the highlights here, but that should be enough. Now we do want to have some color variety going on for this shot, so with the shadows I'm going to use a cold color tone, which always works nice with those warmer highlights. So somewhere in this range and let's carefully raise the saturation. Alright, that looks great. One thing we can do in the split toning tab is to also affect the luminance of each of the shadows, the midtones and the highlights. In this case, let's bring down the luminance for the shadows and thus just making them a little darker to add contrast. That looks pretty solid. Finally, let's head into the calibration tab all the way down in Lightroom. Here I always like to bring down the blue primary hue for those kind of sunset shots. And let's also raise the saturation. All right, that looks awesome. Now one more thing we can do is to sharpen this image in the details tab. And as always, I'm using the same settings. I'm dropping the radius. I'm increasing the details. I'm adding masking. So only the important areas will get sharpened. And then let's increase the amount of sharpening. All right. And that's it for creating this golden hour color theme for this landscape shot in Lightroom. I hope the color grading tutorial is helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.